Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am not here with Geeky Sparkles, but we're gonna do a little bit of an update on Sweet Baby Ink. It is not going well for them. So over the weekend, uh, this this uh, Sweet Baby Ink detected curated list on Steam kind of blew up. Uh, when we did our first video, it was about 40,000 people, I think, subscribed to it. And now we are at a whopping 135,000 people. 135,000 people are interested in keeping track of which games Sweet Baby Inc. worked on so they know to avoid them. Now, if this is the first video that you've listened to in regards to Sweet Baby Inc., very quickly, they are basically sensitivity readers uh, turned consultants who are working with a number of studios. They started out working mostly on independent projects and now they've kind of weaseled their way into working on a number of AAA titles and a lot of the odd current year politics, let's just put it that way, that have crept into AAA titles lately can be attributed to Sweet Baby Inc. And players want to keep track of the games that they've been associated with so they can know not to buy them. Now, I'm looking at the list. A lot of games have been removed from this list. I think Alan Wake 2 was on here. Spider-Man 2 was on here. Uh, Saints Row was on here. And they took a lot of them off, I'm thinking. But uh, again, 135,000 people. Let's look at the numbers compared to the Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, which infamously landed with a thud and people are like, what is up with this game? A lot of the uh, creative decisions and people are blaming Sweet Baby Inc. for the creepy Harley Ivy relationship thing going on there. Uh, Poison Ivy is like 10 years old in this one. Um, possibly for the decision to kill Batman execution style at the end of the game. Uh, pissing on the corpse of the Flash, you know, not not a good look. There are only 431 people playing this game right now. This game only came out like a month ago. Has it been a month, month, month and a half? 24-hour uh, peak, 616 people. All-time peak last month, 13,000 people. I'm just saying. Now, they worked on Starfield, too. Starfield's doing a little bit better, 6,300 people on right now, 8,700, 24-hour peak, and 330,000 all-time peak six months ago. Just saying. But their games aren't very popular. And almost every major AAA title that some of them have bankrupted the studios. Forspoken was on the list before. Uh, there's several that were on this list that, uh, you know, they've, they've caused all kinds of problems for their, their studios. Uh, they think that Suicide Squad is actually going to bankrupt Rocksteady Studios, that's going to be it. <laughs> you know, game over for them. Uh, Saints Row, again, horrible, horrible reboot or sequel or whatever the hell it was supposed to be. And uh, they shuttered that studio as well. So let's um, let's talk about the the backlash. We're going to go out to Twitter. We're going to look at uh, Grums and Cabrutus. Cabrutus, who is the person who started this list. And it does look like they've been taking some of the taken some of the games off the list compared to what it was over the weekend. But I know that Sweet Baby Inc. did work on those. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Uh, thank you very much. Go out to Clownfish Gaming for more gaming news. Um, yeah, so apparently there was someone trying to get Cabrutus taken down. I got to give a hat tip to Grums here. Um, this is Kindred. Of course, of course, Kindred is on Blue Sky Social. Just remember, this was your doing, not mine. They got my ass. I guess a few hundred gamers reported me. Imagine that. Uh, they tried to get their followers to mass report your account and the group you made, textbook definition of harassment. So totally deserved on their part. So yeah, they're very angry about this. Uh, Chris Kindred, I think, is part of or associated with Sweet Baby Inc. Um, wow, I can't believe I got banned for breaking the rules. Who could have caused this? <laughs> Report the creator since he loves his account so much. Banished to the Shadow Realm. Banished. In the words of a literally me sage, you get what you effing deserve. Got him. They're like the bourbons, forgetting nothing yet learning nothing. Totally Cabrutus Rambo victory. Total Brazil. Yeah, I guess this guy's from Brazil. 
Brazilians are tough, man. They are tough. Uh, and they watch Clownfish TV, so I appreciate you guys. I want you to know that. I appreciate. Oh my God, can we show that? You get what you deserve. Um, justice. <laughs> oh my God. Hmm. Wonder why. Uh, wow. There's some interesting. Yeah, Lego butts. I know that account has come up too. So I have to wonder if this is going to become uh, another another blow against the Gamergate narrative. I think Hogwarts Legacy was definitely the start of the end of 10 years of Gamergate drama. Uh, having people like Brianna Wu, you know, you know wanting to talk to, to people on the opposite side of the aisle politically from them, you know, seems to be another thing. And then this, this is just nonsense. It's weird. My son who doesn't really pay much attention to this stuff, right? My son's, you know, he's pretty based. He's pretty open-minded, you know, uh, politically like either side he'll, he'll listen to as long as they're not crazy. But he said, yeah, dad, I gotta tell you, it's kind of weird. Like all these games start getting weirdly political when all the Twitter cancel culture stuff started. And he's like, do you think some of these people might have had sock puppet accounts? Like they're trying to create the problem. Like they're trying to say, look how many misogynists and racists are on Twitter. Hey, Sweet Baby Inc. has a solution for you. I'm like, well, a lot of companies do that. A lot of companies, they want to create the uh, disease and then sell you the cure for it, right? And uh, you know, it's, it's a very smart observation. I think he, it was a very smart observation. I'm like, I'm not saying that happened, but I'm saying it's possible. You know, you want to kick up all kinds of outrage online and say, look at all the misogynists and the bigots and the racists and the transphobes and whatever. Sweet Baby Inc. has you covered. You don't want these people to harass you. You hire us to work on your games. Hire us to work on your games. We'll sell you lots of copies. Lots of copies of Suicide Squad. Lots of copies of Saints Row. So Sweet Baby Inc. is poison. It is poison. If you are a, a video game developer, do not work with this company, in my opinion. I'm just saying. It just seems like everything they touch turns to crap. Uh, everything they touch winds up in the bargain bin. 431 people are playing Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. This was supposed to be like the mother of all releases this quarter. And it just nobody, nobody cares. Look at this. We went from... Sunday, February 4th, 12,000 concurrent players, which is not good for a game of this size, down to uh, 400, 431 people. That is pathetic. That's what Sweet Baby Inc. gets you. So here is a message board, mybroadband.co.za. Guys, I'm shaking the company responsible for putting all the woke stuff in AAA games is violently imploding. This weekend, one of their employees gave a lashing on Twitter to an enterprising Brazilian Steam user who created a curator group simply pointing out all the games they worked on. The employee requested the user's uh, simple list be driven off of Steam and that Valve ban the gentleman's account. Little problem, though. Twitter is no longer the Twitter of yesterday. That is true, Black Static. That is very true. The employee in question was suddenly and horrifically pushed the F back into their hole. Thousands of replies telling them they and the company to politely get fucked including community notes. Also, mass reported calling for targeted harassment. Sweet Baby's corporate account and all employees went dark locking... Whoa! Sweet Baby's corporate account and all employees went dark locking their accounts. The list remains is now over 100,000 followers. It is over. Asmongold did a video on... Yeah, Asmongold got like hundreds of thousands of views. Like, you do not want Asmongold to put you in the crosshairs. But yeah, look, Mortal Kombat 1, Spider-Man, Saints Row, Starfield, Forspoken... Um, lots of games that people have had issues with sweet baby. That sounds misogynistic. Why are you shaking? Check your blood sugar level. It doesn't sound healthy. Uh, did they, did they close their Twitter? Did they lock their Twitter account? Yes, they did. Oh my God, guys. They did. How? So this, I don't understand this. They've only got 2,600 followers, but somehow this is the most influential company in gaming. Could you, could you tell me why? Could you tell me how? How is this the most influential company in gaming with only 2,600 followers? Absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, apparently, uh, apparently they're shutting their accounts down. Wow. It's interesting that Valve hasn't deleted that curation list and banned the guy who started. 
uh, their list of Sweet Baby clients. Maybe they weren't happy with them. Maybe they were not happy with the service they got from Sweet Baby. Um, I'll make a solemn pledge never to buy Half-Life 3. In Val's defense, they haven't deleted the curation list. They haven't, but it looks like some games are taken off the list. I'm most intrigued by the BBBEE similarities with the KPIs and the scorecards. Uh, given the historic wave of industry layoffs, I imagine things are just grand. Now, that's what I think is going on. I think that everybody is going to pivot back to profit. I think these game studios are going to be like, damn, you know, look at all these companies that bet on Sweet Baby Inc. and their DEI initiatives and how they're going to fix our games for us. So, the, you know, because how they spin it is they're like, oh, if you do th this XYZ thing in this game, you're going to get the women and you're going to get the marginalized people and you're going to get all these people that normally don't play video games playing the video games. In reality, all gamers want are like, in reality, all gamers want are like, like violence and ass. You know, give them some ass and they're totally down with it. I'm just saying, like, it's really easy to get right. So I think this is absolutely positively going to, I think it's going to run Sweet Baby Inc. out of business because I don't think any any studio in their right mind would work with this company at this point. Uh, they're obviously poison, obviously poison. So I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.